Hey Leos, welcome to Instinctual Tarot. I'm Dre Eden, um, and I'm here to do you guys weekly. This message may not resonate with everybody, but the ones that it do, they will know. You would take what resonates with you, and you'll leave the rest, right? We do not make, try to make it fit. And, um, yeah, when I was meditating on your energy earlier, something said uh, money goals. Like, you guys are definitely going towards your money. That's the thing going on with the collective right now. Everybody is, like, really using their money to their best benefit right now. Also, um, satisfied emotionally. So, some of you guys are feeling satisfied emotionally, getting your needs met, while others are maybe feeling um, depreciated, satisfied, unsatisfied, you know. So, um, I guess we'll talk about that if it comes up in the reading. Um, changing your thought process for economic um, progress. So, some of you guys out there are changing your jobs or getting other jobs, going in, um, going in business for yourself, which is a great thing. So, um, we'll see. Um, strength is wavering. I don't really know what that means for some of you guys out there, but um, it says strength is wavering. So some of you guys may feel as if, you know, the lion is not at its full potential, you know. Look towards the sun because, you know, that's where you get your most strength and power from because that is your ruler. Uh, while some of you, um, strength is overpowering. And the message that came to me in that is saying if you're one of the ones in your group or your friend circle or social circle um, and you always stop somebody from talking or um, over talk them in conversations, I think Spirit want to let you know that you might want to listen because um, the information you might get might be just the information you need to move forward in a situation where you can progress in. Um, to some of you out there um, in your own business and like so if you are usually the person that um, speaks <laughs> instead of listening you might want to listen because it might be a message that would shoot you right forward that you'll get and let's get right into these messages yes what energy do you have for the Leo's out there, Spirit? Okay. Somebody moving forward. Thoughts. A mother feeling proud of her child. Somebody's being intuitively led to look at their situations in their life and make a decision on whether they're going to go forward in being um, the matriarch of the family, being supportive of those who may not support them. It's best to be a blessing to somebody, but also not good to be used. We also have somebody that's taking the lead in a situation and they need to make a decision on whether it's best for them. So in your first placement, you have the Queen of Wands, and that speaks about somebody um, having their mind straight into their intuition, moving into a situation and things that set them aside from other people, as in the way you govern over the way you feel, 
the way you move, how people perceive you, how you healed through certain situations, and how you and most Leos like to keep these situations to themselves. So you're very moving into a light of knowing where you're going, having the resources to fulfill those obligations. And if you think you are stuck in any situation that has to do with making a decision, you're not. Because other people view you as already there, already successful, already got it going on. Um, yeah, the Six of Wands speaks of a guy whose accolade sits at the top of most. Their passions rule the way they move day to day. So some of you guys out there are being viewed as if you're already where you think you're not at. <laughs> you are very visible as in moving within those realms. So some of you Leos are feeling the gratitude of where you're going in life. It's just coming to a spot the two of wands where you're thinking about where to go to next because maybe some of you guys feel pressure from the people that surround you that's booing you that's wanting you to go forward or wanting you to move forward but you're coming from a place where you're patient you're sitting in this you got it so it's uh thought of keeping up pretenses in people's faces when all you need to realize is you got it and your decisions will make the discern. You're very well kept and well put, which Leos usually are. Their strength is really everything when it comes to setting their selves aside. So Looking at this card saying that some of you Leos are assessing on moving forward in the thought process of some of you might want to do music, write poetry, I see, be the star. And some of you have everything that it takes. There is nothing that you don't have. As energy says, and I used to hate to hear it, <laughs> but now I understand. You have everything you need. People view you as already moving into that sort of light of stardom. It's your situations on how you're going to perceive moving yourself forward. And there's always an ugly beast in the mist waiting down the hall for you to choke up here you don't want to do that business oh you're gonna leave that job <laughs> you're gonna leave that job for your own the unsurety of it all some of you leos are facing walking into uncertainty with people and you know how far y'all trust limits are. Very thin. So, some of you Leos are already walking into this sort of light of, I got it. But there is a part of you that's understanding that, um, yeah, there's some beasts and skeletons and rodents and all types of stuff in the closet. But it's always getting past that. I also see a mother who's wanting her child to make a decision. But if he makes that decision, um, it would be his detriment because he has no passion in whatever you want him to do. You got to go forward. I'd rather him face his beast than face the beast of yours and of living under a situation that's for some Leo out there 
some mother of a Leo also. Some of you Leos know if I do this decision, I might take a loss. I might make this decision and make a loss. But those fuck-ups right there lead you to exactly where you need to be. It be the times that we got to understand that I'm going to go through a situation. And this could be all in the mind, people. Yes, it starts in the mind, then you bring it to the physical. Be a master at owning the way you feel. That moves you forward past what others perceive of you. You got to know exactly how to work through your emotions, the way you feel. Stay in your discernment. Have your dreams aligned. And these things will fade. The boogity ugly in the closets. <laughs> Read. Your contracts. For some of you out there. Make sure you understand your work in your next. It's all in the mind. The understanding that I am doing this. Have your affirmations dead correct. I am. It is possible. I am great. I'm willing to learn. Let me clarify that. I'm going to use the Hermetic Tarot. Oh, yeah. Chariot moving forward. Not really worrying about the ugly. The naysayers. So if you're moving forward in a situation that's got to do with making a decision that ultimately will bring you satisfaction, that's what you guys should do. And that's any mental, that's in your jobs, that's in your personal life, that's in your relationships. Temperance. And three of swords. Having patience, moving forward, having patience, and feeling like it's gonna be an upset. Feeling like you're not gonna have enough, like it's gonna deprive you, some of you guys. But you will have enough. It's the star, let's clarify that. Hi, Priestess. Yes. If you look at it from a higher level and don't pay attention to the people with the chains around their neck, it's basically a worker. It's never a boss. So workers might be telling you that y'all are not able to move forward or things in a situation that has to do with making a decision for some of you guys out there. Some of you guys know there is people and situations in the way of you moving forward. But you understand that keeping the faith is going to keep you a star player. It's something I always say about when you nourish the things in the mind. It completes everything that you see, touch, and feel that say no to you when you want to move forward in a situation. So if you got to stay above the bull, those are people that's moving forward intuitively into a mindset that overperceives what they thought they couldn't do. You all are possible. It's that one defeating the devil 
situation that keeps you from the glory of knowing, wow, that's possible. I mean, if you ever had a spiritual enlightenment feeling, it's like that times 10 after you do something that somebody specifically told you you cannot for somebody out there. It is possible. Get over that first hump. We always know what it is. I must do this. I'm not going to drink today. I'm not going to smoke today. I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to write that chapter in that book today. Because uh, people view you sometimes so they can see if you fail. So Spirit says, jump right on your high horse <laughs> and move on, Leo. Because you definitely got that. And it comes to the page of swords. Sorry about that. Page of swords, knowing, moving forward, and... feelings so you come from a thought process you got your naysayers over here who say you can't do it process you still moving forward you having patience with everything your time your money spiritually you're looking at the phases of the moon and still feeling as if, well, that's a lion for you. You know, you got to be in your natural habitat. You know, never lessen yourself to make other people feel as if they're, um, even if it's, you know, what they, the word facade, putting up a facade. There's no need. On the bottom of the deck, which I call the world, is the patience card. The four of swords is taking the time to understand where you have to move and go into what was understood coming off a time of three into the four. So there you go. <laughs> Take the patience to make your mind up on any situation in your life that will ultimately make you the star who was that, Taurus? I think it was Taurus that had to start too after, after feeling as if they didn't have enough. But trust me, you guys are empowered. You are enlightened. A little listening. Use your grammar. Glamour, sorry. Glamour. That's your sexual appeal without speaking. You know, nurture yourself. Get those facials. You guys, an angel message. And this is just something about the people that view you moving in a great way that's going to set up a roadblock. Not even almost for yourself, it's almost for them. Like, they're, you're opening up eyes. Because basically, if you're doing something new and out of the ordinary from what you're used to doing, it's going to be viewed as weird. And I always say weird wins the race <laughs> because I'm uh, the same. Who wants that? Spirit. Let me get a card for Leo. Y'all only need one. You can't overpower y'all with too much information. Yeah, I get it. Sensitivity. Archangel Hannah. You are extra sensitive in energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Yeah. You know where you're going. Whether they see you in those situations or not. You can figure it out. 
naysayers do not have nothing to do with you moving forward. You're still going to do it whether the roadblocks are there or not. You're going to pick a higher alternative. You're going to go to a higher level above these, as you said, and be okay with it. And you're going to learn some new things about yourself intuitively, emotionally, spiritually. It's going to grow your money. You're going to have more wealth. Hence the new mind in the decision. Together, a new feeling and a new thought make stars. <laughs> I love it. Love and light, guys. If you like this reading, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It, it helps the channel circulate. And um, you can find me on every social media, Instinctual Tarot. I'm Dre Eden, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, yeah, and I'm about to start a new Flash reading, which I guys think you're going to like. So I'm coming up with a Flash reading. That's a collective reading. That's for everyone. So if you didn't get a message today in this reading... Hopefully, you'll get one of those that will be posted later on this month. Thank you guys for viewing, liking, and sharing. I'll see you guys later. Straight in. Bye.